Evet. E, yes. Now we are watching our VTR. Our friends have prepared one telling us about the miracle in the eyes of the bee. Mashallah. See how Allah had laid them like pearls one by one. Each of them is a separate lens. Each one has a distinct feature. Of course, mashallah. Thousands of lenses. I mean, each one of them displays a separate art. If you try to have such a small lens produced in a factory, they could not do it. Thousands of orderly, flawless eyes laid side by side. Every one of them is a separate eye, and they all combine in a single nerve in the brain and enter the brain and thus they are able to see everywhere. Dragonfly eyes are the same. See the big balloon-like eyes. It's so cute. Yes, these are of course details that have been photographed with really advanced technology. MashaAllah, eyes are a separate art. Look, look, do you see how beautiful it is? Very, very beautiful, MashaAllah. Here its beauty is seen with all its glory, inshallah. It can see everywhere. I mean, the bottom, the up, that's to say, they are not like us. We can only see what is in front of us. These are not like us. Yes, and it has inspired the planes. Yes, their technique is used in the helicopter technology, the technique used by these cute creatures. Look, do you see how orderly the lenses are? Yes, indeed. And these cute creatures are very fond of cleaning. They are continuously cleaning their body here and there. They clean their heads and then they clean their paws, their feet. They clean their eyes. Yes, they are cleaning their eyes and they all are clean as a whistle, spotless clean. Lobsters, for instance, the eyes of the shrimps, these are extraordinary as well. They are so funny and sweet. The magnificent creatures of the underwater. See, it says the bug with 56,000 eyes. Yes, mashallah. Mashallah, these are proofs that would upset the evolutionists. And those all have fossils aging millions of years, and they haven't been changed at all since then. See, Professor Jalal, if he is watching, plainly he wouldn't miss it. Certainly, he is certainly watching, I believe, because his hour has come, the hour for his lesson. I do feel that he is watching attentively. For instance, the eyes of the trilobites. The eyes of the trilobites existed during the times the evolutionists claimed that the initial signs of the alleged evolutionist of the eyes had started. They were perfect, just like the eyes of this dragonfly. Excellent, they both had the crystal structure and angles of view. They are ultimately beautiful. The fossils acquired are perfect anyway. Yes, of course, it's the same. See how orderly it is, how well proportioned. The Darwinists, with their pretentious wisdom, claim that while this eye was being formed, there were crystal particles on the ground, and the animal was collecting them one by one and sticking them on his eyes, and thus the eyes are formed. What can one discuss with someone employing such a logic? Yes, the level is apparent. What can be said to such people?